Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we will talk about another uh, PowerShell topic. Today let us talk about PowerShell, how to write to console. So I have launched my PowerShell 6 here. And the uh, console or you can open Visual Studio that, were, that will work as well. But as and when, whenever it's possible, we will try to stick with the simpler, that is your PowerShell console. So uh, whenever you're writing a function or a script, it is important to display some messages on the console, write uh, some output so that the user knows based on that they can choose to do something or choose not to do something. So let us um, first talk about the write host stuff. Write host, hello world. So very simple. But if I say write hello world, it will write it in a because write is not a short form of a write host, but it is. Let's say get alias, and it will give me all the alias here. Okay, this is not here. So what I will do here is. write is an alias of write output so what is write output write output um okay let me store this as message message is a variable in that i will store this hello world right so i will say <coughs> write message this is how it writes awesome so write output message this is how it writes hello world however if i write if i say write hello world it writes it like this right output hello world same thing let me enclose that in uh, co quotation marks yes so that is the difference so the first and foremost thing that you learn is write host Mm, message message and foreground color uh, by default it's it has some colors so i want to change the color of the message i want to say let's say white mm -hmm. and background color maybe dark blue yeah so you can change the color there um you want to uh get some more information why i recommend people to use visual studio core is especially for beginners as a write host you know it gives me a lot of information here a uh, new line foreground color you can mention foreground background color before or after the message we have a lot of other uh, actions that you can take for our scope of learning uh, these we will leave them apart whenever you face a scenario to use these You'll automatically know where to look for how to get that information this is about write host and now let us um well the message information is still there let us use write information there's one more write information hyphen information let's first um see what happens nothing happened now press up arrow key information action continue now it prints it out let us say if you want to print it as a warning that you can do that too write warning so it will if you are running some script and you find an error and you want to give a warning to the user saying okay this is the warning then you can write a custom warning on the console for whoever is looking at the console or whatever is seeing the console write warning message same thing now let me okay uh, let's stick to this write output we have already seen this all right debug there's another uh, that comes in handy write message what happens nothing happens uh, you have to say debug right then it says debug hello world continue yes right uh, you can set it to continue by default 
by setting the preferences. So let's see here write host uh, let's say write debug hello world f5 it prints out nothing now then i will say debug f5 it prints out stuff and ask me do i want to continue or yes i will say yes so error action our warning variable set error action there i will say silently continue no that will not work so this is how uh, write debug is uh, designed to do you want to give some choice to users let us say you are connected to one server and when you rerun the script it will detect that you are trying to connect to another server or a different server maybe and then you want to give a uh, information on the console saying okay uh, there are multiple servers who are going to be connected that is useful because in the same console let us say you are you are connected to two servers and you are you intend to run some script or do some task on just one server but by default it is going to do it on all so those kind of uh, scenarios you can use it especially in a vmware environment if you know what is vmware otherwise never mind the vmware one but right de right debug is used there but if you don't know any right information right output uh, uh, anything else just know the right host itself that is more than enough uh, you can use this itself to do a lot of other uh, things that uh, are available uh, with the right for example you can say and right so these are all the right right output right information right law right so there are a lot of other commands right man stands for manual you don't have to use all of this. Usually I get away with write host. If I can get away with just one tool, uh, if there's just one tool which does uh, most of my job, I would like to just keep that. Uh, you're repairing a car, you need to, uh, I mean, you can use uh, 30 different tools to do 30 different tasks or tasks or if there's just one, this multi-tool which can do most of the tasks. Uh, maybe not uh, exactly the way it's to be done, but it can get it done. So I would say stick to right host, right? Just stick to it. I use it extensively. I rarely, rarely use any of the others. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one.